Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Monday, the 6th of June, 2011. Here are today's top stories. After some back and forth, it now appears Cheryl Cole will be joining the cast of The X Factor here in the U.S. It was reported just a week ago she was dropped from the show. Reasons included her accent may be difficult for Americans to understand and that she would be returning to the U.K. version of the show. None of those reports were officially confirmed. Simon Cowell's camp told the BBC News website he was in talks with the U.S. producers Fox and Fremantle to bring Cole back. She is expected to return to the show later this week, joining her fellow judges in New Jersey for auditions. HBO granted approval to the miniseries Parade's End, set during World War I. Benedict Cumberbatch and Rebecca Hall have been cast as leads in the series. The plot centers on a love triangle between an uptight English aristocrat, his mean socialite wife, and a young suffragette. Production begins this fall. Host of Discovery Channel's Cash Cab, Ben Bailey, was selected as host of NBC's upcoming game show, Who's Still Standing? And Shelby Young landed a recurring role in FX drama pilot American Horror Story, cites THR. Young will play Leah, a pretty senior and leader of the Mean Girls, who taunt Violet Harmon. Today, the Weather Channel opens its Extreme Weather Week, where each night the network will air four shows under a different theme. Monday and Thursday, Top 5 Extreme Weather Events of 2011. Tuesday will be Top 5 Hurricanes. Wednesday is Top 5 Tornadoes. And Friday is Top 5 Worst Weather. The cast of Jersey Shore traveled to Florence, Italy to film its fourth season now slated to premiere on MTV August 4th at 10 p.m. MTV is also airing a one-hour Jersey Shore special on July 28th at 10 p.m. documenting the rise of the show and its cast. And your top three weekend box office estimates from June 3rd through the 5th for 2011. X-Men First Class from 20th Century Fox, $56 million for its opening weekend. Uh, the Hangover, two from Warner Brothers, $32.4 million this past weekend, and its two-week total at $186.9 million. Kung Fu Panda 2, from Paramount, $24.3 million for this past weekend, and its two-week total is at $100.4 million. And that's a wrap for this Monday. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and broad ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and be sure to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonik. I'm going to have a good day, even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else I'm gonna have a good day Nothing wrong I could do I'm gonna have a good day Hope you have a good day too